Auto Club, and we are back in the K5 Championship, getting ready to start the GT4 Championship, Season 2, officially, I believe. Um, and we're here for qualifying. Qualifying each week here in this season will take, or will earn the most points, just so that you're in control and you um, kind of set your own destiny for the qualifying. There's less luck involved as where a race could be. You could have a guy wreck in front of you and nothing you could do. So qualifying is going to pay the most points. I think that's an interesting way to do it. I think it'll be fun. Though we are not going to be very quick. Um, probably any of these weeks. Once I get finished with this qualifying, I will talk about my predictions for the season and my overall goal, I think. But I'm going to be I'm I'm going to be a field filler for this season for sure. Maybe we'll luck into some good top tens or something, but other than that, I don't think we're going to be much of anything. I've been really struggling for speed. Though I did run my personal best in the practice beforehand, but I was still like 15th place, so... That's just about where we're going to be, but that's fine. We're going to go out here and try and get a good lap top uh, 25 earned points for the qualifying I think is what he just said so we'll try and get a decent lap I need to be in the at least the 127s fast guys are in the 126 and the leader for practice was a 125 so this I mean this track is so so difficult and there's this lap gone I mean, this thing just breaks loose like crazy, and there's just no saving it. Green flag, green flag. We have eight minutes of qualifying and eight laps, though. I can't believe we've already done like two and a half minutes, but I guess we have for the session. Hitting all the cones, not something you want to do. This is about the most difficult corner you'll ever find. Okay. This is not going to be a good lap. We did not have a good run down the straightaway. Front stretch. But see if we can salvage anything out of it. And just no turn at all here, I guess. That's nice. I was spinning out really bad um, in that part. In my practice, just trying to get extra speed out of it. We're on pace for a 129, that's not good at all. I also only put uh, two laps of fuel in it, so we're just going to have to hope we get a good second lap here. We'll see. That was better. Now don't spin out going onto the oval. All right, much better. Let's see if we can get a good second lap here. Just don't overdrive anything. That's that's the bane of my road racing. 28.2 is not very good. Puts us P7 right now, but that is sure to drop. All right, that line didn't feel too bad. Okay. That was about as best as I could hit that. And don't overdrive this part. If we can help it. Don't spin out. Okay, not terrible. You have about one lap of fuel left. Not terrible at all. I've been trying to go out a little bit wider there. I've, up to this point in my practice, I've been keeping it really low and uh, once I hit the brakes, just letting it wash out. I don't think that's the fastest. Hitting the brakes just washes you so much through the corner in this car. I'm in the Aston. That was not a very good entry into that section. Did not want to spin out there. Just try and get a good exit here. No slow down. Don't forget to pit this lap for more fuel. Careful over the curb. All right, this is going to be a little bit better. Not great, but it's going to be okay, I think. 
127.4, I can be happy with that for sure. Chris up there with the 126.3 for his first lap. Very, very quick. Let's go out and hit the blue button because we don't have enough fuel to do more. Anyway, Nick down here with the 28.7. But you got as many laps as you need for the eight minutes, which probably... Uh, it's not going to be eight laps. But I'm happy with that. We're not going to get any better than that, I don't think. I ran basically the exact same pra lap in practice. But uh, this is going to be a fun season. Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult. It's going to be very difficult for me. It's only six weeks, I believe. Um, I'm calling it right now. My prediction for the championship winner is going to be Billy. I think Billy is just going to be ridiculously fast if he shows up every week. And he's, I mean, he's on pole right now. If he shows up every week, I think he's got the championship. He just has to execute and hopefully get some decent finishes in the races. Um, and he'll do really, really good. Um, Chris looks like he's going to be really fast as well. We saw him in the I-55 dirt race, and he was really quick. He won that. Scott is going to be quick. Landon probably quick. Colton, he's really good at road racing. I think he'll be really quick as well. He'll be in the mix for one of the top three spots in the championship, I think. Um, especially if he shows up every week. Shane beat me in qualifying. Um, I'm thinking my goal is going to be finish top 10 in points. We'll see if we can do that. I don't know if that's going to be possible. It probably will be just because we'll be one of the few people that show up every week. Um, I, mean, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think top 10 might be realistic. We'll see if we can squeeze that. Um, but Nick down here, is he not going to run anymore? He's got black flags or something here. Oh, he just ran a 26-7. No, that's, that's practice. Huh. Is he done? No. He'll get a better lap. I'm almost positive. But I think Nick... I think Nick's going to finish top five in the points. I th he's got the speed, I believe. He's going to be up ahead of me, I think. He was running... Well, practice, he ran a 26-7. I definitely think he's got the pace to at least finish top five. Um, and yeah, it's going to be going to be a battle. We're going to do the best we can and hopefully salvage some points here and there when we can. No real crazy strategy to get laps led or anything like that. We're just going to go out here and race. It's going to be the same format as the uh, Tsukuba race with the GR86. So that is weird, Nick. Did not qualify well. Huh. So we're going out here for heat one. The only heat. Eight minute race. Uh, I believe. Let me check the thing. Eight minutes. Um, top 18 invert. 18 points is the max. So this one pays the least. But I think we're still going to be trying our best here. We need 5.3 I think gallons. Can we lower this at all? No. All right, I'm nervous. I hope we can do this. Um, I hope we can do this. Top 18 invert. We just we're supposed to try and get in position for the final race that pays the most points, and because this this race comes up coming up is uh, paying the least mo amount of points of every session. But I don't know if I want to just slow down. I I don't know. We need to try and finish 18th. But maybe that's what Nick was doing with the qualifying. But qualifying pays the most, so you kind of want to do as best you can there. But here we go. I'm very nervous. Very nervous. We're not going to be good. All right, man. We're going green next time. I don't time think. By. All right, man. We'll try to be good. Right to try and be clean. Right Have very little practice Third, in um, traffic, of course. But I'm very happy with a sixth place qualifying run. That's going to be a lot of good points for us early on. If we can rack those up, I think we'll be in good shape. Only getting 30 frames, that's not good. Whew, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Why are we in sixth? Did we out-qualify Colton? I guess we did. And Shane. They both beat us in practice. Whew. So we, we got off pretty good there for qualifying somehow. I mean, we ran the exact same lot time in practice, and uh, somehow was a, a lot quicker than most other people. 
So I'm just going to try and keep it clean, try and minimize my mistakes and uh, self spins. I mean, I'm going to be really, really, really nervous I'm going to wreck myself or somebody else, especially into turn one. This is going to be ridiculous. This chicane coming up. Get ready. Hope everyone's just nice and calm and cool about it. Forgot fuel, that's not good. But we got uh, Chris on pole and then Connor, no, Dante on pole. Where did he come from? Is this lined up? No. It must have inverted the top 18 or something for the start. That's weird. I'm not sure how the qualifying worked. Green, green, green. Thought it inverted the top 18 for the finish. Or we have to wait here. Because Billy should have been on pole. He must be starting 18th or something. Car on your left. We're on the left. And we hit those cones. They're wrecking behind us. Got one on your left. Stay right. Okay. Stay right. We're in a very tricky spot here. We're Nick on the King, left. I think that was, on our inside. All right, let's not run anybody over here. Wow, that was a easy start. Got one on your left. I don't care to lose We're a couple positions. Left. Somebody's driving off. Got one on your left. We're three wide. Three yeah, lucky like it's Daytona week, so I'm used to it. That's Shane. Car on your left. Of course I get punted. Car on your left. Still there? Okay. All clear, all Should clear, clear him there with the inside. Yeah, it's totally my fault. My bad, man. Whew. All right, we up. survived the first few corners. Now let's try and survive the rest of them. Just breaking early to make sure I don't run anybody over. I also don't want to overdrive it and spin out or something. You can get a uh, slow down through this section pretty easily as well. Okay, make sure we don't spin. It's very easy to spin out of there, especially on new tires. We didn't shift very well there, but we're good. We are not in a bad position here. Good job, man. I think the real big thing, I'm hitting James. There was a synchronized spin there coming out of the last turn. Nice and Seems smooth like the into here. Always do it. Okay, that wasn't bad. Alright, here comes Billy. He must have inverted the qualifying order as well. I didn't think he was going to do that. Oh, Shane overdrove it. Behind me. That got us a gap. I am perfectly happy running where I'm at right now. We can keep it on track. I'm not going to purposely drop back, I don't think to get in position. Maybe later in the season we'll try that if, if we want. Here I'm just trying to keep it clean and uh, not be in anybody's way. If we keep it up here we shouldn't be in many people's way and that was really bad. No you stupid car! That corner is so ridiculous you cannot save a spin in this car. It's unbelievable. Alright, so now we are in position for a good invert, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. There's a big gap behind us. Got one on your right. Clear on the right. I just dropped back to get in position for the invert. That's all I was doing there. <laughs> Almost overshot it and killed Frank. That would have been stupid. Now we're in 13th. Let's not do that again. We've learned. I mean, I already knew that, but... That corner would just spin you out without warning and you can't save it. But let's not do it again. Could have been draft, making it harder for us as well. I didn't do that the first time we went through there, but all of a sudden it snapped loose on me again. And 
and I am all messed up. I have no idea where my braking points are. Don't spin, don't spin. Okay, we're okay. Okay, okay, okay. Nick's right behind us. We have a slow car on the right. We have Somebody a spun. On That's right. Shane. Go left. He must have missed the corner or something. I don't know how you would spin there. That's okay though. Just making sure I don't run anybody over. You got about five laps. Five laps left on fuel, but we only have two minutes left. Probably you get the white flag next time, I would imagine. Might need to pass Frank. Oh, when I'm missing the chicane, can't see it. I'm gonna go for it here, I think. No, not close enough. All right, Wesley overshot that. We caught Frank a lot there. Okay, that was not good. Don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. I need to remind myself every time. All right, we're doing okay. It's gonna put us 11th now, I think. Did not get the white flag, but we should be fine on fuel still. We're all getting stacked up here real bad. I don't care really if I lose this position to Nick. It's gonna help me out with the invert. Got another we yellow a flag on though. You got one on your left. All clear, all clear. Car on your left. And I'm overshooting it because I don't know where the apexes are. Alright, that's fine. Put us back to 12th. I'd love to beat Nick and beat him overall, but I just don't think we're going to be quick enough. I don't think that's going to be a possibility for us. A little bit loose. Okay, we didn't spin. That's always a good thing. Alright man, white flag. Uh, coming to the white. Yep. We're totally good on fuel. It's fuel that uh, Shane said in the uh, Discord, so if I ran out, I'd just blame him. <laughs> We're breaking really early here. Now we got Justin behind us in the 26 car. We got a full car up ahead. We have a car stopped on the left. Go right. Oh, there's a car there. That was Scott. I think me and Nick are both quicker than Frank right now. It's just about finding a way to get around him. This is not an easy track to find a place to pass. I'm gonna drive into the grass. You got one on your right. All clear, all clear. That was a very bad exit. Justin wasn't expecting us to be that bad. He ran into us. <laughs> Nick overdrove it. I kind of overdrove it. I'm going to spin out if I'm not careful. Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. Good ride there, Billy. Thought you had me. Nick must have got a slowdown. Got one on your left. That was fun. There, We're gonna beat him. Unless he was doing that on purpose. We finished 10th. He might have been doing There's that on purpose to get the position. Good way, Alex. 
There you go, man. Good job, driver. I've got a damn <laughs> slowdown coming out of the last corner. It cost me like four positions. Yeah. Woo! Uh, we dropped back to 10th. Honestly, not as bad as it could have been. Seven minutes of optional and my car still broke. So we beat all three of those guys, but uh, that means we're going to start behind them for the next race, which will be 10 minutes. Um, so we're going to need to take 6.3, I think. What did I write down? Oh, no, it didn't save. How dare you? Let me pull up Discord real quick. 6.1. Last, last, last spot from 6, 6, 6, 7, 7. Yeah, that was really tough. Kind of like that died, Dr. Pepper in front of me. I self-spun too. That freaking final corner is just ice. Alright. Yeah, right after you did that, I spun going in the wall. So coming to the grid for Fantastic. race two. Start up front. That's how that'd be nice. Nick's starting third. I'm starting fifth again. Basically the same place we were just at. So we got to whoever's behind me just know I break a little bit. We got to try and not run into anybody again. Try and be safe and smooth. Spencer starting up there. He's going to be good luck, guys. Breaking early, he said, but I think we're all going to be trying to be careful here. Good luck. I got my headlight button mapped so I can sit here right behind Nick and flash my headlights at him. So that'll be fun. <laughs> very tough, very tough racing. Let's just not self-spin again. That's what I want to do. At least we didn't hit anybody, we didn't do anything except lose a bunch of positions, no damage, nothing. So I'm happy about that. But we don't want to do that again. I'd like to finish as good as we can. We need to do better this race than last race. It's going to invert again. I'm not sure how much. But um, next race is going to pay the most out of the races. Qualifying paid most overall. Get ready. We'll see if we can keep it on track again. Take out that spin and we were pretty good, I think. All right, man. The pace car is in. Oh, that was really bad. Green, green, green. Should have been in third gear, I guess. Just gonna back off, let Connor get in. We know Connor's quicker than us. Bunch of people overdriving it. Connor with the Jeff Gordon paint scheme. Car on your left. Just about overdrove right it and there. killed everybody. Clear on the left. Car on your left. Watching Nick's bumper. All clear, all clear. You got one on your left. All clear, back all off. clear. Give Connor a break in this traffic. And we'll try and pull away from everyone behind us if we can. And I'm getting loose turning into the chicane. I, <laughs> I need to be careful. I've got more fuel in the back, so that's going to make it even looser. We're wrecking behind us through that. I'm really sorry about that. I got punted. I went wide the there. Car on your left. I had to hit the, the brakes. Left. Terrible position to hit the brakes in, but. Connor got held up by Nick, missing the corner. Gonna happen eventually. Now we got Billy coming through. We know he's fast, so not gonna hold him up. Yeah, that sucks, but it is what it is. We're not coming into a very good passing zone. I drove her in pretty deep too. They reckon ahead of us, just looking squirrely. And that corner just bottles everything back up. It's insane. Been good racing, though. Up front. Alright, let's not run anybody over this time.
Okay, not terrible. Really just gotta kinda wait with this huge traffic jam in front of us. I'm not being very quick, and then we got a big group behind Billy. Okay, make sure we hit our breaking point, don't run the guy over in front of us. Settled. Yeah, Almost. I had to run out there. There's, I got Spencer in front of us. He might have got to slow down or something. Billy's going to be on our inside. We're going to look to the inside. You got one on your right. I'll Not a good, Patrick. good place to be. Nick's moving up. Oh! You got one on your left. Right. Sorry. Copy. Clear on the left. Got one on your left. All clear, all clear. Run to the back of Spencer. Somehow it was just, just a zero X. Man, we are all just tripping over each other. There, Billy's gonna clear us, Keep then he's right gonna there. take off. We're just gonna let off and let him go. Way. I'm just trying to be careful. Car on your right. Still there? Hold your line. I've never been too wide through here before. All clear, all clear. That's why I didn't want to let off for Billy, because we were just gonna get swamped. But nothing we can do. Sorry, Gavin. Thanks for that, John. Oh, you're good, man. Alright, we got a gap. I would be more aggressive trying to make passes, but I just don't want to wreck anybody. I want to try and bring this car home clean. Did Nick get a slow down there? He must have. Make sure to hit the flashlight button, or the headlight button. Oh, we're gonna cut that. Just trying to follow Nick. Man, this is a whole different beast of a track in traffic. It's crazy. I guess you could say that about every track, though. We're in ninth. We've got a slow car on the way. People are overshooting this whole section. I tried to get a good run through there, but I couldn't get on it as hard as I wanted or I'd just run into them. Are we good on fuel? Five laps, and we have three minutes, so yeah, we should be fine. Car on your oh my gosh. Whoa, I nearly spun. I don't know if I hit the grass or something there. That was really wild. I don't know what that was. Oh, car's not turning. They were making contact ahead of us. You alright there, Frank? Okay. I wheels have pulled away a little bit. I'm still trying to get into a groove. We just keep getting uh, a bunch of people around us. You have about five laps of fuel left.
Oh, I need to pass this guy. If I can. I don't know if I can. You got one on your right. Let's see if we can do it here. Still there? Hold your line. Okay, yeah, that's not too right. bad. Oh my gosh. You got one on your right. Clear on the right. I keep getting super loose there now. I don't know why. Am I hitting the grass? I, I really can't tell. The slow downs here are ridiculous. Yeah, they're pretty brutal. Yep. So far tonight, I'm up to two points, and I have uh, not completed all the laps without getting ready. Should be getting the white flag soon, probably next time, I would say. That wasn't great. No, that's going to be a slowdown. We should be able to get rid of that without doing too much. We might have a cone on the car hurting us here. Oh my gosh, that thing just shot up to like two seconds. Man, it's like trying to wreck me. Come on! Gavin, you got a cone. On your right. You got a cone hung under your car. They left. Yeah, I figured. I also had a really bad slowdown that I was all trying to get clear, rid of. All clear, all clear. Car on your right. Clear on the right. All right, we lost two positions there. I thought, I mean, I don't know why it shot up I to two John, seconds. I the gas I put in it for the last. But, uh, last couple, that's you know. okay. It's like we're gonna finish tenth again. I thought I got back in there, man. Yeah, I, just, I had a what run. What did we finish last time? Run. I don't know. We got to make sure we can't get, we don't get a slowdown for this corner coming up because that is very brutal, apparently. All right, fuel. We were perfect. Good job, to Shane. Full car ahead. Oh, did Nick? Is that Nick? No. Good race. That's tough. There's the flag. It's over. Great job, driver. They say you cut the course. You have to slow that down. Tough. And give up the time that was tough. That was tough. Make sure we get the right fuel. Those slowdowns are a killer. Top 14 yeah, invert yeah, that time. Yeah, one incident. Uh, Dale and Frank. Or top 12 invert? I don't know. So I think for qual... No, I, here's how I think it is. So from qualifying the top 18 invert for the start of the heat race, the 8-minute race, and then the finish of the heat race, the top 14 invert, and then the finish from the B main, the top 12 invert. I think that's how it is. So Billy starting uh starting on pole for qualifying he started 18th for the grid so yeah that makes sense okay i understand now i get it very difficult in traffic uh we need this to be 11.1 we'll have to fix the toe 11.6 this is going to be the longest race this needs to be just like that should be fine while this is warmed up i'm going to or warming up i'm going to run to the restroom real quick <laughs> i like how we started 
10th or we finished 10th for each one. Now we're going to be finished or starting third for this race. So that's going to be pretty, pretty crazy. We're going to have to just try and hold on. Um, just try and give up as little as possible and don't make any mistakes. Don't get any slowdowns. Five minutes and I'll be right back. It's going to be even tougher in this race to uh, keep our position, though, because it's 25 minutes. That's going to give a lot of the fast guys time to make up through the field and get spread out. I'm going to just try and do my best to keep it on track. Hopefully the um, lower fuel doesn't hurt us too bad, but we got Allen in the number 94 car starting on pole. We're starting third. Nick is starting in sixth with Spencer right ahead of him. Billy in 8th, and Shane in ninth. I suspect all these guys to start moving up. Connor, Colton. I think he's been... He must have struggled in traffic there. I think we'll just look at the incidents. I don't know. All the incidents will be interesting. All the races. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Chris, where did he finish all through all that? He finished 20th in race 1, 15th in race 2, and he's going to be starting 15th. He just misses the invert by a couple positions. So after a really good qualifying run, second in his speed, he has not been able to uh, work his way through the field. So that's interesting. Very interesting indeed. Let's see, third place qualifier was Justin, he finished uh, second in race two, so now he's starting 11th, so he's going to be making his way up, he's going to have lots of time to do that. Scott, he finished 18th, and he finished 33rd in the first race, finished 18th, he worked his way up from 33rd, now he's going to be starting 18th for the feature. So that's actually pretty good for him to make his way up to that high, because he's, he's still going to have time to make it up. Landon, 35th finish, 36th finish, and now he's going to be starting 36th. He ran into some uh, some issues. I think he got wrecked a couple times, he said. Very crazy. Very crazy indeed. So Nick qualifying way down here. He must have been doing that to try and hit the invert. Because now he's got a 12th, a 6th, and he's starting 7th. So we got 10th, 10th, and then 3rd. Starting 3rd. Where did we qualify? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13th. So, it's not a terrible points day. Two 10th place finishes. And then starting third, and we get a 13th place qualifying. So, I mean, we're not going to win the weekend, obviously, but it's not going to be the dead last or anything. It's going to be decent for us. If we can finish here, like right in here, I think we'll be good for a top 10 finish in the championship. And hopefully, 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 we can close this race out. 25 minutes. It's going to feel like an eternity. Make sure our fuel's correct. 
get a last drink of soda. It's been a lot of fun. It's been really, really tough. And we need to know, we, we need to remember to start right, in man, third we'll gear. Alright man, we gotta line up on the left Cause that was a terrible start really last time. Windshield tear off. But if we get wrecked, we're not gonna be worried about that, cause we won't be going back out, I am assuming. Yeah, no fuel. Very scary. Very scary indeed. Good luck, guys. Good luck to everyone. Good luck. Good luck. It's gonna be very tough. We're gonna be getting past. Every all the fast guys are behind us. I just gotta keep that in mind. We got lucky with the third place starting position here with the inverts. Just try and give up as little as possible. Keep it on track. And uh, do our best. That's all we can do, you know. And don't spin out. <laughs> I hope we can get through here without spinning out. We have Alan in front of us, Nick King starting on our outside. Get ready. Maybe starting this far up, we should start in second gear. Because we're not right on the chip like we were before. I also have to remember the car is a lot heavier. A lot more fuel in it than we've previously had. When's he going? When's he going? Okay, we got a good start because we were right behind the leader, so green flag, green flag. should be decent. We might be able to get into second here. We do. Contact as I'm trying to get it slowed down and make sure I don't overshoot it. Probably really slow for people to know what they're doing. Oh, you're good. Make sure we don't spin out of this stupid go corner. Go, go, go. Big wreck, Led. Big wreck. Big wreck. Missed this corner completely. It doesn't hurt us too bad, apparently. Final corner, we have to really be careful with all this weight in the car, with the fuel. We can't spin. Man, it is a dog right now. Don't hit the cones. Man, Billy is already up here. That's crazy. He is so quick. He's going to win the championship. I am really confident in that prediction. Really confident. We're up to second. Billy's going to pass us. I mean, that's a given. Next car is the leader. Car is not turning. Car's not turning at all. Just gonna get Billy by us. Jeez. This thing will not slow down with the freaking fuel in it. Got one on your left. We're getting past left clear, and right. All clear. Let's see if we can beat Nick. Got one on your right. All clear, all clear. This thing does not like to slow down with fuel in it. No, it does not. Damn it, that's slow down. That corner is the worst. <laughs> Spent one when the right. phones are gone. Yeah. All clear, all clear.
Slow down very early for this corner. Holy cow, that's fun. Dude, Julian, that was bullshit. Got a big dude. gap now. Bullshit. Get kicked in the lead for that. I mean, we were going so slow, but we got a big gap. It's just because the fuel's in it. We just have to baby this thing around here. Nick is on my F3 now. Dale, I think, is quicker than me. He just had that slow down and then must have gotten held up or had an issue into turn one there. Oh no, Colton lagged out. That sucks. He did not need that. Dang it, man. Alright, Nick's five seconds ahead of us. Problem is, this tr race is going to be long enough where he can make that up on me. I mean, that's just the facts. But we'll, we'll do what we can. Try and get decent exits out of there. It's just I'm not going to be quick because I'm slowing down so early. And I cannot see the apex to this stupid corner. And I every time I try to get on it, I spin. And I lose a bunch of time. Slowing down so early, I mean, obviously I lose a bunch of time spinning. That's an interesting way to make it corner 12. Alright, Nick's back to 5. So that's good. Dale's back to 2, just about. Get 40 second penalty. Apparently I didn't slow down quick enough. I guess. I don't know. Oh, that sucks. Wesley's out of here. Billy's in the lead. He's got this thing won. I mean, unless he wrecks or runs out of fuel, nobody's catching him, I don't think. And I just want to keep it on track, minimize the mistakes, we have a car stopped on the left. Go and right. try and beat Nick. Appreciate it. Sorry, I got to slow Now Nick King is about two seconds back. So we're probably going to lose both of those positions to him and Dale. That's okay. We're still five seconds to Nick. And we lost a bunch right there again because that's just our worst section almost. I'm not feeling bad. Not feeling too bad. Alan's doing a great job up there. not close enough to get draft from him quite yet. We're still just barely far enough ahead of Dale to keep our draft off of him. Can't even see the lines of the ground with the sun. Yeah. Need to be really careful the curb doesn't wreck me going over it that hard. Alan overdrove it a little bit. I'm underdriving the crap out of it.
Dale's almost back to us. We almost had uh, caught Allen a little bit there. We might have draft on the front stretch this next time. Gained some time there on our lap. Careful with the cones. Pretty sure if those do get caught under your car, it will slow you down. Almost positive. I could be wrong with that, though. <clears throat> Six seconds to Nick now. He might be defending his position. He might have some, some uh, stuff to deal with behind him. Which is why he's fallen back a little bit, or maybe we've just somehow gotten faster than him. I don't know how that's possible. Oh my gosh, car, turn! Dang, you just gonna wreck me on purpose like that? That's not good. Yeah, I didn't see you coming up off and walk back into the track. Yeah, most definitely did not try to wreck you on purpose. Sorry if I did. You turned left into me on the straightaway. As soon as it's that, I was on your left. Thought I was going to overdrive that. Ended up just destroying the curb. It's for like 18. Okay. Dale's going to get this position pretty soon. That was a really bad lap for us. We were all over the place. Lost a second. Just about. I don't know why we were so bad, but he's definitely in our draft now. Careful on the grass, especially with wheel in it. We'll freaking spin out. Oh, we were almost, almost too wide there. We'll try and fight him off, but I just don't think we can pull back away from him, especially with the draft helping him. And that was really bad. We're going to get a slow down for that. They say you cut the course. You'll have to slow down and give up your time gain. Oh my gosh, car. Really? Slow down's not going to go away? All right, we're going to lose both these positions. Thanks very much, Zach. Car on your way. We're three wide. Still there. Clear on the left. You got one on your left. Just give it to him. He, we had a slow down, and we were just all around terrible. Our goal of staying ahead of uh, Nick is still very much in play, though we did lose two seconds. That wasn't good at all. Can we open this gap back up to Nick? I have no idea. 3.2. Sheesh. The slowdowns are just so brutal. You have to be so careful not to get in any, any of them. I'm just going to stay in line and get some draft here. Don't spin. 
feel it getting light. All right, this draft is going to help us pretty well. Here comes Chris. Chris is going to beat us as well. But we knew we knew that was a pretty good possibility after uh, qualifying. Let's not run into him. We are getting held up a little bit now. That wasn't a bad exit. Still 2.8 to Nick. I'm not too upset about that. Don't run him over. Okay, that's actually a good entry. I think I'm gonna try and pass him here. Go ahead, Gavin. Got one on your right. Okay. Thanks. E flat. Clear on the right. Your fourth plate. There you go, man. Good yeah, job. Back to fourth. Whoa. Pass left. Got one on your left. Still there? Hold your line. Clear on the left. We're not going to hold up Chris when we might be able to uh, have a good race with Dale. So Nick is 1.9 back as we're screwing around back here. So Chris should pull away and then we can put in some clean laps, catch back up to Dale maybe. Don't hit those curbs. Have to be so sure not to get loose or do anything to screw up my run onto the straightaway. It's very difficult. Just getting as much draft as we can get here. As I drive up in the middle of the track where no one is in front of me. Dale overdrove it with Chris right behind him. Oh, Nick's closing in so fast. Turn one, I'm just terrible. That's the issue. Car on your right. We'll sneak our nose in there. They left. Not a good idea. Go there. Hold your line. They're slowing I'll each other I'll down. Clear. And here comes Nick in draft range. Gosh dang it. I just, I keep getting tripped up by traffic. And that's losing us so much time, but we are just overall pretty slow. Nick's much better at cutting through the traffic than I am. Oh, he might have got to slow down for that. No, apparently not. Get the draft. Time, seven minutes left. Seven laps to go on fuel. That should be plenty. That corner, the right-hander back 
after the first turn is what kills me. I am so bad at that one. Turn! What the heck? Oh, well, Nick might have made a mistake. He's three and a half back now. Just randomly, the car decides it doesn't want to turn. I wonder if the lights coming on had anything to do with that. We just got massive grip for no reason. Slow down. Okay. Thanks, Wade. If Dale pulls away from us. I'm fine. I'm to totally okay with that. We got a P5 right now. Let's see if we can pull away from Nick King. Nick must have made a mistake or got to slow down or something because we pulled away from him again, which is great news for us. Just cones everywhere. Oh my goodness, car. See, I'm trying to get a better exit out on that right-hander, and that's what happens. I just spin. Man, this car just decided turning. Not something it wants to do anymore. <laughs> just, just that left-hander specifically. The other corners, it's still the same as it was. Man, I'm trash. I'm so trash. <laughs> okay, that was better that time at least. Let's see, Dale got loose, I got loose. Go up here and try and get the sniff of the draft from him. You have about five laps of fuel left. Five laps of fuel remaining. We've got four four minutes left. That's going to be plenty. We're not doing five laps. Yeah, we're overdriving it a little bit. That's okay. We're still still alive. 1.1 behind us, almost back to 5 seconds on Nick. Dale's got a cone on him. Why will the car not turn in this corner anymore? I don't understand. Finally lost that cone. That double apex left-hander, it just won't turn anymore. I have to like come to a stop to get it to rotate now. I don't know what the deal is with that. We got lap traffic coming up. That's gonna be interesting. Alright man, that car is a lap down. Clear. Thank you. Okay. It stays right. up and out of the way. Thank you. All clear. All clear. Overall, I'm really, really happy with my performance right now. We're up here in P5, ahead of Nick. Both of those things are something I was not expecting out of myself. But of course, the inverts helped massively with it. We got lucky with all that. Because in traffic in those first races, we weren't any good at all. I guess I'd have to start shifting to second there. I guess the tires are just so worn out. All right, man, that car is this is not going to be a good place to catch a lap car. Thank you. Oh, my. Car on your left. Really need a good all angle clear, here. All, all right, clear. that's not bad actually. 
Not terrible. We're okay. Almost two seconds to Nick King. So just keep it on track, stupid. No slowdowns either. We got more lap traffic. Lap traffic was not something I Damn, considered. I got a pit for fuel. No! Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that. We almost got killed. And that didn't even slow us down too much, but we're going to have a terrible front stretch. But it's the white flag. I don't know how he didn't get us in the right rear there. Whew. Almost got destroyed by lap cars. Oh no, did Nick King get wrecked? That sucks. That sucks. But at the end of the day, me and Nick, Neven, finishing back to back is about <laughs> the outcome you expected any freaking type of race. I'm just nursing it here now. We got a big lead. Nothing to worry about. Dan Taylor's a lap down. We're, I assume he's not going to try and pass us. He's got nothing to gain from that. I don't think he'll get to us in time anyway. Very crazy stuff. Very, very crazy stuff. Overall, I could not be happier with my performance here. Especially in a format like this, and a track this tight. The fact we that we didn't wreck is just a massive win for me. And the fact that we're getting a freaking P5 out of it. Unbelievable. Way better than I expected. Very, very awesome. I will take that. Good run, that was fun racing up here. Woo! There's the flag, man. It's over. Yeah, good racing with you, man. That was fun. Great job, yeah. driver. They say you cut the course. Great win to Billy, too. I saw that coming. He's game. so quick. Man. Good racing, Alex. Insane. I am so angry at myself for such stupid mistakes. Woo! Yeah, a little unnecessary there at the end, but good racing. Damn, I ran out of fuel. Oh, that's what happened. That stinks. Oh, that sucks. Yep, that does suck. Dang. I had 80 seconds in penalties. Oh my gosh. 80 seconds. That's uh, still a fun race. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed that. I am just glad I kept it on track. I didn't didn't wreck myself. I just had that one time good in the first running, race. Buddy. Thanks for a good race. And then didn't wreck anybody else running them over. I had a couple of close calls. Very, very fun. This is going to be a fun season. Hopefully we can just keep it nice and steady and smooth and don't worry about being slow. Just don't push it too hard. Just keep it nice and on track. I think we'll go through all the incidents in all the races because the first two weren't that long. So long incident. Uh report for this one but that's all right coming into the first corner huge bottleneck three wide there Landon is three wide there let's respond to Shane here he got wrecked on the first lap I guess and went to last so what is the three wide? So Landon doesn't get too bad of a start, but then the 94 goes three wide on him. So then they're just nowhere to go there. And then he must have gotten loose or something. He kind of corrects to the right, and that takes out Brett and the 94. And he gets head on into the wall. It's unfortunate for him. So then we're coming here, we got uh, James, they're just getting stacked up, oh my, oh my, that was Julian, just uh, 
overshooting it, probably looking at the guy's bumper, just not breaking in time. Didn't mean to do that. I almost did that. Somebody spun off into the dirt up here. Ryan. So he made a pass on uh, Dan Taylor. Dan Taylor gives him the boot accidentally, I'm sure. And that sends Ryan into the grass. Oh, and then Nick just barely avoids that. I don't think anybody hits him. Yeah, he gets going there. Good work there. This is very tough to get too wide. Yeah, and I could feel it getting loose when I was cutting it back and forth like that. In that sh little kink chicane thing. Very dangerous rolling across the track, but somehow nobody, nobody hits him. And then, oh, oh, oh. So, Scott is getting loose here. Maybe some netco with Billy. Gets into Billy and then uh, Chris has to check up for that and then they're just not ready for that. Zachary Nelson gets into the back of them. <coughs> I think that was Zachary Nelson, right? Yes. And just, just nothing Chris can do there. He, he had to check up for Scott getting loose and making contact. See, this is what I did. Dante had that problem. I think we drove by, by him. Yeah, there we go. Luckily, there's a huge amount of track there you've got to work with, so you, you can get through spinning without hitting anything. And then Joseph parking it in front of Julian, and everybody's just spinning right here. It's so slick. We got another spin. Zachary Nelson. He's trying to get it here and just gasses up a little bit too quick, I think. And then... Dan Taylor, I think he spins out of the final corner. This whole section of the track was just so, so slick. Somebody else spinning up there, too. See, this is what we did. Somebody spun behind him. Uh, dang it. James Hester. I mean, it's you got to be on top of the wheel like crazy to make sure the tires don't come out and somebody else back here is spinning as well, Ryan. It's just like ice. I, it's insane. You would think these things would be glued to the ground and you could just full throttle it no problem, especially a corner like that, but it's just, I don't know the way the banking is. They're making contact. A couple people spinning here. It's Ryan again. And then they're trying to go too wide through there. There's just no room and that's like a 90 degree corner. And then he pulls back on track in front of traffic, and that's really not very good. Chris. That's Julian again spinning. 22, nowhere to go. And he's missing this corner. He's going to the grass. Is he going to roll through and wreck anyone? Nope, he keeps it nice and tight. Oh, yeah. He he just had to bail out left because he was going to plow into him. That was a smart move there. He just overshot it. I was worried I was going to do that. Oh, and Shane. Shane threw the transition here. Well, no, he just the turn in into the flat part. You can just that He hit a bump and it bounced it out, and then he just lost control, lost traction. And this was after we spun. When did we spin? See, like, Shane's ahead of us right here. Or, we're ahead of Shane. But we spin, and then I think he spins right after us. Yeah. It's just the same thing we saw everyone else doing. I was trying to get a good exit, and the once the car is pitching, like, you can't save these things. Counter steering does nothing. Luckily, we didn't spin all the way around. We didn't lose that much time. We really only dropped back to 10th from, like, 6th or something. And that's what we already saw, and then he pulled out in front of traffic, and then we're going to get to Shane spinning, and then we get back around Shane. Shane didn't have very good luck here. Oh, Connor's overshooting it, and just spinning a little bit. I like the car, though. <laughs> oh, spinning out in front of people, Patrick. Just got out a little wide. Oh, he's going to overshoot this. Yeah, into... That's Scott. 
Oh! We were lucky there. He backs it up. Chris Boatman. He's, he's doing what Shane did. He's probably jumping on the brakes. Doesn't hit anybody. He jumped on the brakes probably too hard, and then the uh, the rear end just came out. So I don't know what's going on back here. They're like three wide. It's the... It's like Jane, this guy, and then Julian. They're all popping up in the wrecks for some reason. Alright, now we're on to race two. This is turn one. Or, I, I don't know, turn two, I guess. Shane is overdriving it a little bit. Then he gets on the brakes to compensate. A little contact. No wreck, though. They're three wide. I don't think uh, Dante knew that. Now they're going out here. He has to cut it back really, really hard. And then Landon gets into him. And that sends him head on into the wall. And that takes out a huge chunk of cars. Oh, he overshot that. Into the, uh, the freaking uh, Mercedes. See the big wreck in the back. People mowing some grass back here. His left front might be broken. So now they're trying to get this sorted out because there's just such a cluster right there. Julian into the grass. Slides in front of everyone. <clears throat> oh, James caught the grass and just lost it. And that's unfortunately, like, well, that spun him out, but he went outside to avoid him and that would have given him a slowdown. But having to be so slow there, he probably would have cleared it on the straightaway anyway. So now we're here and we're going to give him a tap there because we're just, it's just such a stack up. It's unreal how bad it is. Now Nick, no that's James, oh he just tried to get a good run and cut it underneath the uh, curb and bounced up into him. So you can't see the curbs. And then he's just driving across the track and wrecking people. No excuse for that. I've seen that a couple times already. Little contact there. Colton. Just some side contact. I mean, it's the most difficult corner you'll ever find. Frank's getting loose where Shane did head on into the safer barrier. He's back here in uh, 22nd, I think. And James had to avoid that, or Zachary, rather, gets into the, that uh, Mercedes. Oh, and Connor is coming through quick. Getting a little contact there. Chrome Red Bull. <laughs> Missing the corners, Devin. But he gets back going. And this is after. He's trying to wreck in front of Nick, but he exited out of the car too quick. So, that is race... Um, two. So now we'll go to race three, the final one. Into turn one, Shane stacking up big time. Nick, oh, they stacked up massively there. Shane gets into the back of Nick pretty hard, but nobody spins. Shane was three wide, he couldn't go anywhere. Oh, he's in the grass. Careful. Shane again. He said he wrecked on lap one. Yeah, he gets in the back of Colton. Nah. Nowhere for anyone to go. That's unfortunate for Colton. And they were they were stacked up so bad there. And then unfortunately Colton lags out. Maybe he just disconnected. And then Shane. Tires are hot. I was spinning out in this corner without hot tires. Just like this. Anyway. So that's easy to do, especially if you're flustered after just wrecking Wade. Oh, he's going to get the inside wall hard. Unfortunate for him there. Oh, wow. Ryan overshot that, nearly wrecked a bunch of people. Ends up only just wrecking himself. That's a slowdown for Patrick, but I'm sure he got that cleared. And 
30 cars coming in and Julian's there. It's Chris Boatman. He's trying to cut back in before the cones so he didn't get a penalty and just no room there, I guess. They're too wide, nah. Unfortunate angle. Just spins him there. Oh, zebra car and comes across, gets that guy. Shane, I think, avoided it. Drifting into the first corner. I haven't tried that method yet, but didn't look like that worked out too well. <laughs> oh no, Connor gets the grass. Where did he finish? Oh, down in 33rd. That sucks. He was so fast. Some blinking. And then... I think this is what Ryan was complaining about. He gets to the uh, four car. He's going to go to the inside with the draft. He comes up a little bit. Uh, it looked like he came up. Looked like he came up. You can see the this seam like he's below the seam holding it straight and then he comes up back up across it and that somehow doesn't spin the four just sends him into the infield and then he got an unsafe pit entry and then nowhere for the 49 to go a lot of front end damage I had to put that on Ryan I think he pushed up into him Alex I don't know if he got a bumper there but he spins Landon's in the grass and spinning. We're on lap 12 already, so people have cleared it out. They've gotten spread out enough to not have too many incidents. 23 still trying that drift line, but it's not working. Scott just clips the grass and it's so hard to recover from. Scott had a rough one. And then 23 and 27 coming together. 27 was pretty far off the curb there. Oh, there's the grass. Just can't touch the grass. It's so, so difficult. And that's when we were lapping him and we almost got destroyed. I was so worried. I didn't know he cut the grass there. I just saw him turn in and then I see him way out there spinning. And I'm trying to cut it back. That almost, that would have made me pretty unhappy <laughs> getting taken out there. Thankfully, I don't think anyone hits him. Yeah, he backs up out of the way. And they're trying to make it through the kink too wide. Very difficult. 12 into the wall. And then here, Julian misses the corner, hits the 85. And this is the final lap, I think. Think he's celebrating this is the cooldown lap, or he just has a big enough lead that he can do this? No, it's the cooldown lap. Great win to Billy. I called that. I think he's gonna be the dominant force of this championship. I am so happy with fifth place. It's it's unreal. I, I thought I was gonna be down here. Like fifteenth to twenty fifth was gonna be my range. It could still be for every race in the rest of the season, but I'm very happy with a great finish here. Best I could hope for, no doubt, I think. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the up to this point. If you got this far, we're the last ones here. We look through all the wrecks at the end, and we finish with zero incidents. I'd like to point that out. Feature race, zero incidents. So that's something to be proud of. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was a fun one.